expecting that to come out there. So, they uh, come out to a 0 to 4 start. And we'll be seeing it come down. So, this is quite the engagement coming out there. And it's a. Uh, Cancel, Cancel Rock, starting it up. Great early counter invade though coming out there. I mean, when you have, <laughs> I don't know how they expected that one there, but maybe just luck right there as they had the Karma Q for just so much damage. And then the follow coming in, I mean, Graves has a ton of AoE damage in there as well. F boy on this, uh, Nautilus also uh, put down some great CC there. I think he started out with the E as well. So he had the slows there. He had the snaring with the auto attacks and the four kills to start things off. That is such a huge lead for Council Rock already. That's a scary position for Clear Lake to start things out here. We're seeing now as things wind down from that early start here, advantage is going the way of Council Rock here, but maybe that's going to change up as Hot Fuzz is getting phased back there as there's some damage coming in, but we did see Love Sai stealing away those Krugs, now moves into that bottom lane looking for a gank. Bogger training out with F-Boy here, and we're seeing just some slight advantages here going the way of Council Rock. Double Doran's Rings to start things out here for F-Boy in this top lane on this Nautilus. First game in this best of three matchup. We're not seeing the Shen being played as Bogger and F-Boy have been switching off playing Galio and Shen. This time Bogger gets the Galio and F-Boy is sitting on Nautilus and loses out that trade there despite having that early advantage and has to maybe back here. Maybe we'll stick around in lane though. Has that shield to keep himself regening. And meanwhile, bottom lane, we're seeing the boots advantage here out, out for peanut damage. As he picked up a kill and three assists for himself. He just has that bit of early movement speed here. And um, yeah, double control word as well for Hot Buzz is surprising to come out from him. He picked up one of those kills. And so did Love Sai, who has just picked up a few more items for the jungle. As well as the boots and the long sword. So this early start, it's gonna last a while for this team here of of um, Council Rock, and we are seeing things go pretty evenly in terms of CS, pretty close really. But except for the jungle, where Love Size about a double the CS advantage of Tyler here. He's had a great start to start things out in this game. Look for that gank onto the bottom lane. Wasn't able to force on anything, but we'll see how it goes. Interesting to note here, double teleport comp coming out from uh, Clear Lake. And they'll look to be all over this map here as Descendants and Cocoon both don't come through there as Tyler and Level Square were looking to start things up in that bottom lane with the gank coming out from the Elise. But things will calm down. But yeah, double teleport cop coming out here again. 
or coming out here for the first time, clear like high school. Want to be all over this map here. It's unfortunate as well for clear like his double square. He likes to run this ignite on the thresh here. Ended up with that early disadvantage here. Haven't been able to do too much in lane as uh, the Caitlyn and Karma have kind of been forcing them back. So I see small things going the way of Council Rock after a big early lane, early game advantage. Bottom lane, seeing things heat up here again as Love Slime wanted to come in for a gank. They want to turn this one around though. That's it, stands in land, but double teleport. Hot Fuzz, he's in trouble. And the heat of it, double square with that kill. And now engaging on and on to F Boy, who came in with that teleport. But the de double teleport cancels out more than one, cancels it out. And now that's going to be five, all five members of. Clear Lake on that bottom half of the map. They see an opportunity to pick up kills and an objective. This Wind Drake, Cloud Drake, gonna be going their way. Nicely executed there. Just talking about that double teleport comp, and here it is put to good use. Moving in on that bottom lane. So nice moves there on that bottom lane. Two kills going the way of Clear Lake High School. Tyler and Double Square picking that up. Double Square, uh, much to his credit, has been doing, had a great game on Thresh and the first one that we saw today. Had about five kills, I think, as well. So he was uh, really pulling his weight there. Coming into that late game, Thresh just still does so much damage with that. E with the passive on the flay. Powering those auto attacks. See it coming through. We see it. We saw it come through there, and now top lane. We're seeing both of these junglers come and the, with the roam up here. Bogger looking for the engage. Can't hit the top. But Tyler's up here, but they find Love Sai as well, and that is going to be CC coming out. Bogger forced to flash away as Tyler's looking to escape here as well. Lots of C CC with the damage from Love Sai as they flash in. Love Sai picks up that kill onto Bogger, finishing him off. And the nice counter gank there. Both mid lane is trying to run up here as well. So both of these teams really looking to move their champions around the map here and looking to get some presence from everybody. The roam trying to the attempted roam coming out, but both mid laners are thinking the exact same thing. Double square. Can't hit that flay, but they can hit the arrow pretty easily. Pulling him back. Hot fuzz in trouble. Exob finishes off that kill. And that is the scary part of this Ash lane when every lane gets an Ash. When you combine it with that Thresh, and Shannon Crystalero comes out, you're going to be dead there as that CC comes through. And now they're going to be able to push into this bottom wave here. I see Dunnan. Oh my gosh, how does that land? Peanut damage caught out there. And Double Square finishes off that kill with the Ignite. But a beautiful death sentence lands there. And now that guy in trouble. Here it comes under the tower. Tyler finishes off that kill. Heavy work done by Snuff there with the Chum the Waters finishing it all off. Now bottom lane getting pushed up here. It's going to be that duo there as they've just taken down both members of the enemy lane. But Bogger is dueling it out here with F Boy. Now it's getting the. Not getting the good part of this engage here. Galio with the bomby cinder as well as the triple Duren's rings. It's a little hard to, to contest there in that trade. Really into it though. It's gonna go down here off of Snub and Tyler pushing that one in. They picked off Magi. 
burned his flash in their cleanse, and then they wanted to take that middle lane turret. So they pick up first tower of the game here. So they've done a lot to come back here from that 0-4 deficit to start the game, and they're actually now leading the game in gold. And something that's been turning around for them there. Peanut damage getting caught by Hook. He's close to this tower. Exhaust can drop down onto Exob as they look to back away here. The stun coming in onto Hot Fuzz as the Agenda Crusader just came back up. And now the flash, the flay, the hook onto Peanut damage. And that is another double kill for Exob in this bottom lane as they push it up. Trades coming in the favor of Clear Lake High School once again off a beautiful play by Double Square there. That thrash is coming through strong. And now middle lane. Stun on the stuff as that guy trying to escape here. He can't. Snuff gets under the turret, picks up the kill. Unleashed power wasn't enough there. Bottom lane turret goes down and top lane. Oh, they were trying to. Get a gang out on Tobago there, but he put down that ward and saw them, so didn't end up getting caught out in that trap. The top bottom lane turret goes down as well, so that's two turrets in favor of Clear Lake. And two turrets for Clear Lake here, and now they'll pick up even more gold in the lead. And wow, it's surprising to see them come back from this one. That that over four star could have spiraled out of control, but now they're playing, doing the smart moves here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now they're doing the smart moves here, moving up to this top lane here. They have Tyler moving up here as well with the dual laners as they were possibly looking to pick off F4 to get an easier engage on this top lane, but they'll just go for what they can get now with this double, with this duo up here and the rest of their team moving up this top lane. This is what we saw from Clear Lake in game one. They take down that bottom lane turret. Hey, let's switch lanes real fast and let's look to take down this turret here. They just want to get the advantages here, so very smart play by them. And now F-Boy catching up Tyler. Tyler going to be able to get out of there though with the Dark Passage as that Nautilus CC was looking scary. Hot Fuzz just moving shy and flashed away, but Arrow coming through, stuns up the Nautilus, and there is the pickoff potential you saw right there that Council Rock is going to have to be cognizant of. The Enchanted Crystal Arrow, the Cocoon from the uh, Elise, the everything on Thrash, and the Chum the Waters on uh, Fizz is just such a scary force to go up against. So with this bottom lane pushing, they moved four members of Clear Lake up to that top lane, and Council Rock responded with five members, and now they're going to be facing some damage on this bottom lane turn as Bogger pushes it up. Of course, he's Galio, so can't do quite too much to this, but still smart plays by them, and now Clear Lake are just in the driver's seat of this game. Just in the driver's seat of this game, they have all the pressure coming out for them. Now, slow on to Exob here as he's get, he gets caught out. And that's an easy kill for Mag uh, for Love's side to finish off there. However, on the other side of the map, Cloud Drake went down again as Clear Lake High School took it down. They've been focused on these objectives here. And after that dragon going down and the kill in the top lane, looks like Council Rock's going to be aware of that Jungle in the bottom half, but Snuff wants to go in here. Double Square going to be jumping in here as well. Death Sentence can't land, but Snuff going to go down. Feet of damage, getting those auto attacks down to finish him off here. And now looking to finish off Double Square. He's looking to try to get out of here. Get stunned up. Double kill. Peanut damage. Easy one for him there as it was just the uh, numbers game in the advantage for clear for uh, Council Rock. Setting up on this drift field again, I think they're going to have to back away though as Exob and Tyler are back in the area. So not going to be able to take that one down. Bottom lane, we're still seeing training coming out though. Augur is pushing up here. 
on him. Meanwhile, middle lane, x -Sob forced the heal out as he was taking some damage. Possibly getting caught out there by the, uh, by the team. Unleashed power came out from the mag, from mag guys, so that's what we missed. And a lot of damage being dropped on that Ash, but still able to survive. And is actually not going to back it just yet. They want to keep applying the pressure here and possibly go for this Rift Herald. They'll send four members to take it down. And uh, Cancel Rock. Probably unaware, but even if they knew this was happening, probably wouldn't be able to do anything about this. No oh, man, we're seeing this top laner, we're seeing this top lane getting pressured out now. This has been Clear Lake's game plan, we go for these objectives, and after coming back from that 0 for 4 deficit to start out this game, just picked up the third tower of it, 17 minutes in here. All three added turrets down now, and we'll see what Clear Lake's game plan is after that. However, Hook lands, double square, they'll bring in the Galio for the heroic entrance. A stun onto three, Magma, Maggie is trying to run out of here, but won't be able to, Stun finishes it off. The kill, now he loops around, looking for the rest of the team here, F-Boys in the front line. Damage coming in, double square, that's the, another Hook, the play back onto two, Tyler with one kill. They take down one F-Boy, force the flash out after finishing off double square. Now they look to turn this one around. x going low. The dredge line's gonna land, but maybe baiting it in here as ba uh, Balgar goes in, takes down one. Now it's in a duel with Love Side. Love Side finishes him off. Meanwhile, x on the side was able to get a kill, but teleport from Snub back into it. Takes down the shutdown, and that's an ace here for Clear Lake High School. 18 minutes in. They'll take down this top lane turret as well. So a few things going wrong there. Quite a few things going wrong, wrong there for... Quite a few things going wrong there for uh, Council Rock as that fight broke out. And, I mean, just the engage coming in there from... Clear Lake was huge, and once again, they have that huge pickoff comp. They have so much CC that they're going to lay down on you. That heroic entrance was huge. And Double Square and Thresh hitting those key hooks there to start off that fight as well to get the pick on the peanut damage. And he was the only one that went down for his team, I believe, for Clear Lake in that last one, last engagement. So, leads continue to stack up for... Leads continue to stack up for Clear Lake here as we move into just shy of the 20 minute mark. They already have the two dragons to start out this game. And they have all four turrets that have been taken down so far. Bottom lane, F-Boy's in trouble. Rift Herald, he's gonna make his appearance now. Didn't see him using that top lane because the fight broke out there, but now that the inner tower's already got on top, they say, hey, let's pressure bottom lane, and that Rift Herald will make short work of that tower. Hot Fuzz can flash! Oh, I mean, he can flash, but can't use it to get over the wall there as he gets taken down. Unfortunate move by him, and he easily gets picked off. Rift Herald, oh man, sad Rift Herald has no backup here. Bogger going to be forced to back away as the Nautilus really wants to take him down. Then they do. Left side picking it off. With the finish off there. That was a nice catch off onto Bogger, but still a 4 for 4 on the map. And the inner tower just went down bottom lane, middle lane. It goes low as well here. Very dangerously close to getting taken off and finished up. So clearly like high school. Now five turrets in the lead. Huge advantage for them. And now we have Dragon getting started up here. Teleport behind them. 
That's Vaga coming in. They're trying to catch off your Exile is in front, but the three-man, Todd coming through. What a huge one there. And they're gonna get the shutdowns now. Hook onto F-Boy as Bogger and stuff looking to finish it off. Unleashed Power coming through. Does take down Exop, but they find they find the back line. Tyler and Snub do. And a double kill coming in for Tyler as four members just like that are taken down. And another huge fight here for Clear Lake. As the teleport from behind on the flank, Bogger coming in and getting that three-man taunt. It was a bit of a scary position there for Exop, but ends up coming up cleanly with that three-man kill, uh, with that three for one and the dra or four for one and the Infernal Drake going over and under the turret. Bogger comes in, gets the taunt, the cocoon. Tyler finishes off that kill and rightly so. And now. They pick up that middle, middle lane inner turret, six towers to none, three dragons to none. And an 8,000 gold lead here for Clear Lake High School. They're picking up all the advantages so far in this game. Huge wins coming in for them here. So, Tyler able to escape somehow with that back. And Mog gets over that wall as well. So now this is going to be pressure by Clear Lake. Three lanes they can push in now. All six turrets down means only the inhibitor turrets left standing on the other parts of the base here. And those Nexus Towers on the inside, of course. But it looks like we're going to be seeing a bit of a pressure around Baron. We're seeing that getting pinged up and we're seeing the vision coverage. Very, very nicely done here. And uh oh, Mad Guy in trouble. Or not. Able to get this double stun down there to make sure he doesn't go down. But this is, of course, as I'm gonna, as we're gonna keep watching, Clear Lake High School taking control. They're putting, planting themselves in the jungle of Council Rock here on the top half of the map. As we are seeing that bit of a split push coming in by Snub. But uh oh, uh oh, Magi cleanses out of that stun there, but the flash forward, Tyler picking up the kill. Meanwhile, Magi getting chased down as the damage is still coming in. Left side taking down my Exob, and this is going to be a clean fight. Double kill coming in. Exob with that one for him. And quickly like that, four members down on Council Rock. Once again, getting caught in their own jungle and getting just isolated out there as well they can't get a clear five against five team fight as there's just a bunch of small engagements on every side but clearly it comes out ahead with all of them inhibitor turret bottom lane goes down inhibitor is sure to follow now bottom lane getting cleared up there only 24 only 25 minutes in for clear lake and now moving over to this middle lane three members still down means it can easily pick up this turret and they're gonna be smart about this one and head back The lead in this game just really getting out of control now for Clear Lake as they've been able to find just so many of these advantages. And now they're moving forward with it. 11,000 gold, only 25 minutes in. And I mean, that's a lot doing part to those eight turrets that they've been able to pick up. And that inhibitor down bottom lane is going to be costly for Council Rock. Winner of this matchup goes on to face Montville Township High School B. Don't know much about that team. I think it's uh, one of the newer teams here at the High School Star League. But now we're seeing such a huge advantage. Seven kills on Snuff, on the Fizz. Exob is seven on his Ash. And 
ones. Bottom lane. Snuff is very comfortable with looking for a pickoff onto F Boy here. F Boy has not a lot of mana, Snuff does. But Magi has a lot of mana, and there's the unleashed power for the shutdown. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, that's two members in the bottom lane, so it's a four for three up here. Four against three, I should say, up here as Bog is leading the charge, trying to go in here. Jumping in, looking for that taunt, can't land it, gets rooted up though. However, they're still looking for this push onto the middle lane. Seeing what they can do about it. And now I'm going to be moving down here. It's 50 seconds on this Drake that's going to spawn. That's a third wind Drake for this game. It could be the third wind Drake for Clear Lake. As they have all the dragon kills so far. They have those lanes pushing with the inhibitor in the bottom lane down. And they're just looking like they want to keep pressuring around this dragon. They're going to set up wards for around this area now. Taking a little bit of focus off the Baron buff for a little bit here, but also looking for a bit of a trap here. Tally double squirt and Bogger sitting inside a brush. Not the biggest damage dealers on the team, but hey. It's only they're all they're all building tank. But hey, we could go for something is what they're saying, and they are looking for someone to catch off there. Snub though gets rooted up there and taking some damage from the Caitlyn peanut damage. And now peeling off is their team of Clear Lake. They'll head over to this dragon and does Council Rock want to make a move somewhere else on the map here? They're heading over to this Baron buff area. I'm not too sure if they would start it up though, if they would dare to. And I don't think they'd be able to anyway with the Wind Drake. That's a lot of, with the third Wind Drake of the game, that's a lot of out of combat movement speed for uh, Council Rock. So they get over to the other side of the map very fat, quickly there. And now to look up to start a fight here. Bogger looking for a Tom gets it onto the two members of the back line. Hoffa's and Mad Guy in trouble as Bogger is in onto them. Double Squirt trying to move in here as well. Where's the damage coming out from Exop? He wants to move forward. He finds one kill to start things off for himself. Turns it around onto F Boy. Gets his second. Meanwhile, Snub is in there as well. A triple kill though coming out. And that is going to be a clean 0 for 5 ace in favor. Double teleport to get inside the base. And they want to go for the end here. That's going to be the surrender vote actually coming in as Clear Lake High School take the win and they take the series 2-1 to one to take down Council Rock High School. And it'll be Clear Lake High School moving on to the round of 16 in the High School Star League 2017 Spring Playoffs. A really well played game from them there coming back from the 0-4 deficit there and moving on into that one, moving on into this one for the win. Great game coming out from them, and guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's all the action we have for today on the High School Star League. Make sure to hit that follow button here on the channel to make sure so you'll know whenever we're streaming on here on Twitch TV, as well as follow us on social media. That would be on Facebook and our website and Twitter and YouTube. To make sure you can bring you the casting for today. Clear Lake High School coming up with that 2-1 to one victory. They'll be playing Montville... Township High School B in their round of 16 matchup. Round of 16 is all locked in. You can, of course, head over to lol.hsstarleague.com if you want to see the playoff bracket. But that's all we have for now. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you all next time.